Hey everyone, Tomias here, and welcome to another AFK journey. So today we'll take a look at the uh, recruitment stores, and actually all of the stores, guild stores, arena stores, dream stores, and even friendship stores, for the items that you should be clearing out every day or every month. So let's take a look and start off with the recruitment stores. Now you earn these currencies, the dolly tickets, from pulling uh, in the general pool, basically. All of the uh, pulls will give you this ticket as a resource, and uh, you'll be able to essentially refund or quote-unquote buy these tickets again for other gacha systems so again you can see right off the bat these are the ones i've bought out and i'm going to try to buy these as well but basically the important ones the very very important ones are going to be your epic recruitment or invite letters these will be used in the pool here i'll just show you guys if you go to your uh, noble tavern these are for the epic recruitment which is a very selected pool that i can use to um, with a wish list to manipulate um, the units the key units you want to get so uh, right off the bat the resource income for this is very very small so you want to get as many as you can every time and you can see it refreshes on a monthly basis then it's the stellar crystal so these are used for your um, basically gacha pools for the light and darkness unit and pretty much everyone is going to go for Rhaenyra. Now later on, or the Mega Whales can go for um, Scarlita, but for most people, they want to go for Rhaenyra and try to get Rhaenyra to Mythic Plus because he'll be a game-changing support when he reaches that level. So um, pretty straightforward. You just want to exchange in the recruitment store these four materials or two types for items and uh, try to get uh, as many as you can. Now, moving on, we've got the guild store. Now, guild store is going to depend on, again, your contributions to the guild and how your guild is actively doing. Um, everything else here is quite decent, but uh, it really, really just depends. For dailies, you for sure, I would personally try to get the tickets. It's definitely, definitely not bad um, at a discounted price. Um, everything else, you could get these resources, but it's not absolutely a must. And personally, for me, if you're going to do any pulls with gems, then the monthly epic invite letters and the monthly um, stellar uh, resources is going to be very, very key. Now, if you are gunning for guild resources, because again, these are gems. If you're using guild resources, then Rhaenyra again is the one you want to go because the Rhaenyra Mythic Plus just changes things for a lot of people and then after you reach Rhaenyra they can slowly work towards Scarletta who will also need to be Supreme Plus to reach her end game potential so it's going to be a much much longer wait and uh, most people will want something uh, that's more instantaneously gratifying which means in this case it's going to be Rhaenyra first but uh, for me personally if you're looking the gems in the guild shop it's these three for resources for pulls and then work towards Rhaenyra with guild tokens and then eventually making the switch to Scarletta. Moving on, we've got the arena store. So this is where things get uh, quite a bit interesting because there's so many dupes and base bodies you want to do. Now, looking at this, you could technically get one copy of Brutus, one copy of Rowan, because these are your what we call one copy wonders. However, we're kind of past that. This is what you would get early game. Um, now, moving towards mid to late game, even Cecia is not 100% recommended anymore. Truthfully, I would say that out of all of these, the probably the unit that is going to make the most impact is human in late game the heals is super super strong and if you're looking for a nasty pvp P Igor is not the worst choice but personally i would not go for it because you can just run a damien stall with healers so uh, among the healers human is definitely definitely best uh, again if you're free to play completely free to play player and you've got a lot of copies of Cecia, it's definitely not the worst case to go for more copies try to get her to mythic plus for example but uh, if you're once past the stage you know human is the best among these other units just due to the fact that uh, as she gets more dupes the stronger she is going to be especially for late game and later on because these are units that will be available for exchange you can slowly slowly work towards the rest now looking at the dream store dream store is very interesting because you have so many s uh, a level dupes and there are quite a few that are super strong across various content but the one that's going to obviously stand out the most is going to be aldi Aldi is very versatile in PvE as well as in the Dream Realm, so Aldi is 
100% going to be the one you're going for. And similarly, in Dream, um, the boss fights on a single target situation, Merrily is absolutely goaded in terms of her damage output. So these two are going to be your number one and number two exchanges, in my opinion, Merrily and Oldie. And then later on, if you want to look at another uh, PvE opinion, then the Corrin. Uh, is a viable choice. Corrin is going to be able to provide a lot of support. And you can see our tier list breakdown and the PVE uh, breakdown, how strong Corrin is. So these three, Marley, Aldi, and Corrin are going to be your PVE units. And then moving past that, if you're looking PVP, like we said, Arden, but you need a Mythic plus Iron plus Arden and then Damien though these are also potentially units that you can build towards to outside of that it's something we'll think about in maybe two three months time where you can take a look at units like uh, Coco is a viable option later on or even for PvP Sylvina but uh, I would strongly strongly advise Oldie merely first and then Corrin to consider or start building some of the PvP units and then later on move towards uh, other pvp focused characters now last but certainly not least we also have the friendship shop which doesn't have a lot of things in it but you know you've got your <laughs> if your gold costumes that you can pay um the uh <laughs> you know, emojis horse plays and all that stuff and then you can get the starlight cup the uh, spectral lantern and then also this this is very important you can definitely grab them and it does change uh again every once in a while it's just good things to have um a cosmetic basically it's not that uh it's not that game changing but you know what it's technically free because you just need friendship points so the other core stores we've went over and these are the items you definitely need to buy uh it's quite good in terms of the resources income uh again it's a marathon not a race so i just work towards the dupes the copy slowly and uh yeah especially the dream store is gonna have fantastic resources uh dream store fragments that you'll be able to buy and certainly these units will make your dream round fights better and in turn allow you to get more dream round resources so it's kind of like a uh, uh you know rolling um snowball in fact and now it's the minus here let me know your thoughts regarding your choices for your shop stores in afk journey and i'll see you guys in the next video goodbye now